The GR Corolla has almost immediately won my heart after its initial launch at the 2022 New York International Auto Show last year. Today we have the new 2024 GR Corolla right here outside of Baltimore, Maryland to give you all a first look. So this GR Corolla in particular is a 2024 Circuit Edition in a new color, Blue Flame. I think it's the same Blue Flame that you could see on the normal Corolla hatchback and the RAV4s. That's a pretty distinctive color on the road, but it looks really good on this one. It's, it reminds me of Boost Blue on the Civic Type R, so it's a perfect color. This is like a dream spec of mine, but of course, because this is a Circuit Edition, you have these functional hood vents on here. I love the design of this car and seeing it in person, especially in this color, is a real treat. You can see the big opening grille to suck in a lot of air, the parking sensors, the LED fog lights, functional air ducts that go down here. And as we come along here, this is all a nice gloss black material with the GR badge over here. Full LED headlights, just like every other GR Corolla with LED daytime running light and LED turn signal over here. Towards the side, this has the 18 inch alloy wheels that you'll find on the Circuit Edition. I really love how these look and the Raptor on Pilot Sport 4s. These are really nice tires and those big, don't get me wrong, but I think they're 14 inch brake, cal uh, brake rotors. And then of course the GR Corolla has bigger front brakes as well, well bigger calipers and more of the ducks over here. Black mirror caps on this one as well. This is such a nice looking package. I also like on this 2024 model, you have this graphic over here, which feeds into the GR4 all wheel drive branding. I love that a lot. I love that it's stamped in there. And then more of the wide hips that flow to the back. It's a really nice looking car. And because this one is a circuit edition, it has a carbon fiber roof. Very nice. And it also has this uh, spoiler back here. I'm really having you follow me. It's like, it's like aerobics. But we can come over, actually before I open the trunk, this is another topic of discussion. I really love how the back of this looks. The Corolla hatch already is a good looking car, but this one, you know, with its lower diffuser here and the triple exhaust, which some people say are silly. I mean, it is interesting, but I do like how unique it is, but we can open the trunk. Can I open the trunk of this one? Yes. So we have about 17.8, just under 18 cubic feet of volume. Pretty decent. Toyota hasn't actually provided us with a cargo figure with the second row seat folded down, but if we want to poke around under here, there's some, wow, the Toyota license plates, you know, that you see in the press photos. That's cool. In the blue flame color, and there's this cardboard, but no spare tire because of weight, but you get a pump of uh, fix-a-flat and a, well, a can of fix-a-flat and a pump. That's what we get. But you know, this is a performance car, so I won't be mad. And of course, if you're wondering where the battery is, it's, it's in the trunk, which is interesting. But as we close it, let's talk about the business end of the car. So under the hood of the GR Corolla, things stay the same for the 2024 model year, but Where's the hood latch? There it is. This thing is an absolute powerhouse. I drove one of these a few months ago and it is a fantastic car. And the thing that powers it, if I can find the hood latch, I'm going to do this in one shot. This is right here. It's a 1.6 liter turbocharged port and direct injected four cylinder, well, three cylinder, not four cylinder. That's what makes it so unique. It makes 300 horsepower and 273 pound-feet of torque. Quite the powerhouse of a motor. You only get the choice of a six-speed manual transmission. And also, the front diff and the rear diff is a Torsen limited slip. You can also control the center diff with either a 50-50 power split, a 60-40, so 60 rear, 40 front, or even a 70-30, so 30 front, 70 rear power split. You can really customize this car to be a track demon. I really want to drive one of these in a more spirited mindset, well, spirited environment, but hopefully we'll be able to do that pretty soon. I wanted to mention the new colors for this year, not just Blue Flame, 
Toyota is also offering a brand new ice cap color, which is a white, but now let us ingress into the back seat of this four-seater car. This actually seems a little bit nicer than the outgoing model, but this is, well, I would say a lot of room, but the driver's seat is not in the position that I would sit in. But I've been in another one of these before and I've had maybe about two inches of leg room. Headroom is actually pretty good as well because this one doesn't have a sunroof, but the GR Corolla is a four-seater car only. The rear seat is actually pretty soft on this circuit edition. You have blue stitching on the insides as well. Looks very nice with this Alcantara, which is also perforated in the middle two map pockets which is nice and also there is a center armrest which feels nice and sturdy and there's two cup holders here and i do like that it i don't remember this in the last well in the outgoing model but there's a usb type c port and a car charger port for the rear seat passengers that's actually pretty accommodating now let's talk about the front so now this is the seat that i really want to get into but I can't drive this one because it's a pre-production one, but it's very easy to get in here. Now you can see how much shorter whoever was in here. We have peace and love. I think I know who it is, and we love you, but, you know, short. But inside of the GR Corolla, it's a nice space to be. Of course, it's not extremely premium, but materials that you'll feel are pretty decent. I don't see any of that blue stitching on the dash. It would be cool, but again, this is a pre-production model. Let's start it up. Actually, beforehand, I'll show you the key fob, the GR on the back side, and this looks very nice. But since this one is only manual, their intelligent manual transmission, put your foot on the brake and the clutch and push the start button to go. Ah, this is actually louder than the Supra. That's funny. Interesting, avoid excessive acceleration. Oh, because the car is low on gas, but it's a really nice place to be in here. Let's give the exhaust a go. Ah, God, I want to drive this, but it's really nice in here. Three spoke leather wrapped steering wheel. You do have blue stitching on this one because it's a circuit edition and you have the GR emblem on the bottom of the wheel as well. Nice amount of buttons on it. The full digital cluster, that's a very nice touch. Thanks Toyota for doing that. It's competitive with the Civic Type R. The headlights are automatic, but not the windshield wipers. In the middle, this has the smaller, it seems like the smaller eight inch touchscreen display, but it features Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, both wireless and wired. It's a pretty decent system, but this is Toyota's connected services system. So it's not bad, but I just wish that there was a home screen on it, a dedicated home screen. Single zone climate control on this one, but it is automatic. There's not a lot of piano black in here, which I'm glad that they didn't, you know, go ham with it, but there's a little bit down here. But down here, the heated seat controls. This has a Qi wireless charger. Down there is a USB type C port. This toggle over here controls the drive modes. And of course, the shifter for the intelligent. Oh God, the throws are so nice. And this shift knob feels weighted in the GR. Feels so I want to drive this. And over here, this dial controls the all-wheel drive system, the GR4. So that allows you to go into 70, 30, 50, 50, 60, 40, all those ratios. Manual handbrake, of course. The normal Corollas, I'll shut this off. I don't want to waste Toyota's gas, but I'll shut this. I just shut it off. But this one has a manual e-brake. That's where I was going. And the normal Corolla hatchback has an electronic e-brake. So that's a nice thing. But I also wanted to mention the seats real quick. As you can see, this one has an Alcantara in the middle with some leather and some stitching. They're actually pretty comfortable, pretty supportive, but they're manual, of course. And that's for weight savings. I really don't mind that, but I love this over here and the GR that's embroidered on the headrest as well. I almost forgot to mention, if you're interested in getting your own GR Corolla, Toyota is debuting this 2024 GR Corolla in Gran Turismo 7. If you're any of my fellow GT7 players out there, you can get this car in the game. So that, my friends, is the new 2024 Toyota GR Corolla. I'm very happy that I was able to show it to you guys. If you're interested in getting a 24 GR Corolla, I would expect one in the middle of this coming winter. So the winter 23, 24, Toyota hasn't set an exact date, but we'll know a little bit later on. 
very excited to drive this car eventually. Hopefully that'll be a, an upcoming video sometime soon. But thank you all for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Remember to stay tuned for all the videos that are just like this. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, peeps.